Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Chris. Let's chat a little bit. I wrote down what I need to be doing. That is hint go to Baskar. We're gonna go to Baskar. And then I guess from there we're gonna continue to investigate the... I forget what kind of stain they called it. I know they called it a stain. And I guess we'll we'll see where we go from there. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Like, somebody followed us in between streams. Let's give a shout out while we wait for this to boot up. You're wide open! Thank you, George Wagner, for the follow. Doing as well as I can be. Hopefully that'll just continue to improve, though. And roll intro, not quite yet. I gotta skip the intro during the load. Oh, come on. Doesn't remember what disc I'm on when I do this. That's so annoying. So sad, chat. Oh, that is going to get really tedious, changing that every time, man. Like the older version of this hawk more when it remembered. So annoying. I didn't have this issue with Valkyrie profile. I have to say, you know, a newer version of this hawk, not, uh, not impressed. <laughs> It still feels worse than the other one. Like 2.7, I think. You know what's really unfortunate? When the camera resets between areas and you don't remember how to leave. I kind of forgot that the camera would also reset. Oh boy, I really don't remember where the exit is. Oh, thankfully we found it eventually. Because I mean, like, it, it's not, like, the way the camera was was not how we were playing the level. This is where a mini-map like they have in the world view would make a very big difference for me understanding the room layout. Especially if the camera is just arbitrary. And every every hallway looks almost literally the same until you enter it. Anyway, let's go to Baskar. I believe we're going back to Hello's village to ask about the dream, I think. The sky is truly being gnawed away. The Dream Seer's vision has finally come to pass. Hello, Imperameter. Hope you're doing well. I will explain from the beginning. The Dream Seers have the knowledge and the training to receive and recognize the Guardian's will. But messages from the Guardians come only in fragments and are often difficult to interpret. It is extremely rare for a message so concrete to be bestowed by the Guardians. The danger to Felgaia must truly be great to warrant such a vision. Well, what are the Guardians trying to tell us? Unfortunately, that is all we know, or will ever know from the Guardians, for the Dream Seer can only wait for dreams. 
And since the power of the Guardians is also the power of all Filgaia, Filgaia being eaten away means the power of the Guardians will be diminished. Um, excuse me. Could I help out, maybe? Could I receive the will of the Guardians with the power that I have? I mean, if he can't do it, nobody can, right, chat? It might indeed be possible. Or hello to channel the will of the Guardians. I'll do anything I can. Those sheep dot dot dots. We would need to go to the sealed sanctuary of the Guardians. There's some chat saying, can I receive the power of the Guardians? Boy, you don't have enough power already. I know, exactly. I mean, he, it's funny, too, because, like, he's still tanky and unkillable, despite, like, not having, like, super big stats. So I think levels have to do something to damage taken. I swear there are characters with higher stats of resistance than him in terms of physical damage, and he still takes basically zero to no damage. The sealed sanctuary would have enough of the Guardian's power left in it. The sealed sanctuary of the Guardians? What is it? It is called the Sacrificial Altar. I think that was in Wild Arms 1, maybe? Wait a second, you keep bringing up sacrifices. Hold on! <laughs> Did she emote? <laughs> oh my god, she emoted. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, chat. I'll just do this. <laughs> oh, it auto converts. Damn you, Twitch. I wanted, I wanted the non converted one. That was truly special. Hello, dot dot dots. I'm going. Welcome, Calvisham. Hopefully you enjoyed the lurk. Can't believe it. Now that hello is now hello is talking that way too. Don't worry. I don't want to go there to be sacrificed either. All I want to do is ask the guardians what's happening in Phil to Phil Gaia. Makes me worried for some reason. I was scared at first. First I wanted not to be a pillar so much I couldn't think of anything else. It's different now, exactly, Budana. It's hard to say why, but now I have a reason for dying. Now there's a reason for me to fight. I don't want to run away anymore. I want to help. I think he means he started to find himself. But there's something I don't get. You see... I am me, but there is no myself to me. So if there were a medium, an information matrix, then I could change into anything. I'm only me, Puka, because there is no myself. Hello has begun to find himself since he met me. I'm envious of that. How that I'm unkillable, I have reason for dying. I know. It's We call it the Alicia paradigm from Valkyrie Profile. I would like to find myself too. But maybe with everyone's help, I'll be able to... Look at dot dot dots. I have to try! I found about the sealed sanctuary. The sacrificial altar. There are many things said about its precise location, though. You'd better ask people yourselves. Who cares? No, myself will be the other me and our half-self, exactly. We'll be with you the whole way, hello. We will protect you. Thanks, but I'm not scared anymore. Let's go. Are, are you really not going to give me anything more specific? Uh, 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 okay. I guess I just have to keep asking around. Thanks, old man. I need, like, a vague hint. No, I don't... No... No, don't tell me about Raftina of Love, Justina of Courage, and Zephyr of Hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't set up for future bosses. Where, Where's the plot? 
I mean, this is not any different than Wild Arms 1 where we gathered the three of those. Come on, give me a hint. Where did we go? I'm not reading their dialogue. Okay, there we go. The Arudu Mountains are considered holy. They contain a sanctuary of the Guardians. The Guardian's power was sealed by the blaze of disaster in the sanctuary. Sanctuary desecrated. The desecrated sanctuary become a sacrificial altar that awaits the pillar. Okay, so Rutu Mountains. Okay. It's not super specific, but I guess we could start there. The problem is, like, where is the best way to explore around that area? Is it on the main island, or is it on a boat? trip only that's the real question oh, that feels weird to exit the town through the north Do we that's how we end <laughs> i mean we entered and exited in the same direction is what i'm saying it's very weird in the camera so we went in like this originally oh camera you know we're looking for the dragon orb uh, the mountains were, I think, near Guild Galad. It could be in that central island. So no matter what, I want to teleport here because we get access to the hovercraft. I can see there's more than one location we can visit. That's good. Or at least item-wise, we could get some items. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like that one's uh, on the little peninsula. Alright, so we're looking around here. Combat encounter rate is insane right now. That definitely looks like it's up there. We're looking to see if we can spot a dungeon around here. Holy, the encounter rate is, like, so high right now. Get out of here. Up that. Apparently a lot of items I didn't pick up over here. Right, let's get in the hovercraft and see what happens. Get in the hovercraft. There we go. <laughs> I swear, chat. Sometimes they just bonk for no reason. I'm like, I know you know what I wanted, game. Don't lie to me. There is another location over here. We just got a par. Where's a good spot to transfer over is the question. Go to the other side. Alright, so I have a feeling it's down here. There's only so many locations that it should be at. The question is, where do we boat to? Mashing that cancel button, chat. You have no idea. I mean, I could fly up there for the pillar. I'd prefer not to. I'm assuming I just have to come in from the other side. I honestly don't remember how we get over there. I'm hoping very soon we get the ability to just fly around and park wherever. I'm kind of at the point of the game where I'm like, yeah, just give me full flight. Like, stop messing around. Just just give me the full flight. Because there's all these items we can't do anything with until we get it. So I, I know that's going to be a thing. The game doesn't even have to confirm it with me. Does 
this even connect anywhere useful? I didn't think it did. There we go. Game, please dis please disembark. Thank you. That wasn't super hard to find. The problem is, like, I still don't know how to reach the central area over there. i come back later. Like, there was a place we could land, but I didn't think it was connected to the main landmass yet. Anyway, into the sacrificial altar we go. Which, for, for some awful reason, you know is gonna be a puzzle dungeon. You know in your heart, it's gonna make me do really dumb things again. Oh, come on, I let go of run. That's so messed up, I hate slide. Why do we slide in this game? I'm assuming I gotta hit this with a knife or something. Start with this. Rude. Um... Am I missing something? Where... How do we cross this gap? Do I need to hit one of these with, like, a, an ability? Is there another switch I can't see due to camera angle? I hit one. Hmm. I just realized I can't cancel this movement. That's so sad. Let's undo this character. I saw the boot. My brain saw boot. I didn't look at the character. Uh-huh. Oh, cut me a break. Oh, Chad, this is... The <laughs> See, I'm too afraid to skate anywhere because all these dungeons have all these horrible drop-off points. So it's like they gave me a useful tool for navigation, but like most of the time I just can't use it. Like it would be really good normally, but like what's the point of swapping characters if like every 20 steps I need another tool or I need to turn? It's very unfortunate with the level design that it would take what is normally amazing in the other game and making it basically useless. Oh, that's cute. They gave an upgrade to Bashley, who we're not using. Like, am I really just gonna have to go around and kick, like, every single pillar? Is this happening? Is this the level of game design we've come to? Is there something I can even zip to? Should I go on the East 9 option and let everybody share items? I mean, probably. I mean, does it want me to just jump down here? Does this do anything? Hmm. Design. I don't. I don't even vaguely know what this game. Like, I found that, but like, what does that do for me? <laughs> it's like, my brain is like, it's not computing. We're immediately starting with the puzzle dungeon, because of course. Many questions. 
there like a hidden thing on the side I should know about? Is that what it is? Like, is this just a hint to drop down and one of these is a platform? Which is obnoxious. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, chat, I'm like, I swear, chat, they're, they're, I swear they're making this puzzle dungeon more annoying than it should be. What the hell is this? Are we doing... Oh my gosh. Are we having a Zodiac puzzle? Damn, we're doing all of them. I see Cancer Crab, right? We got the twins for Gemini. I'm assuming that's supposed to... What the heck are these things? Oh, that's a... Oh, it... <laughs> the graphic was so messed up. Actually, what is... Th... Is that supposed to be the RAM? I'm not gonna lie. These are some of the worst representations I've seen of the Zodiac. Is there a Squirpy? Oh... I thought the Squirpy- I thought the Crab was, was the Scorpion and vice versa. Holy. That looks terrible at an angle. When you're like above it, it looks fine, but holy. I mean, is there, is there a hint as to the order you want me to do these in? I mean, I, to me, I've honestly not memorized all of the Zodiac symbols. I mean, I see Leo. I know there's like Virgo, which I think is the Virgin. Is Sagittarius the Judgment Scale? Or is that the Hunter? I don't remember. Swear chat. Okay, is there a hint as to what this ridiculous order is? Made in position directly across from the four eyes. Okay. Is that a hint for the... I'm assuming it means whatever is opposite of Gemini. So maybe I stand here? Okay. We're slowly figuring this out. My brain is like... <laughs> my brain does not appreciate... Immediately jumping into the puzzle. Libra is the scale. Thank you. I can remember. I think Pisces is the fish. I don't remember which one was the water bearer. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the water jug. Huh. Stone Drago. There we go. Oh, wait, that... Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. That was just... Oh, it's crazy. That's cr Wait, we are supposed to do something with this? What do you want me to do in this room? I don't have anything that... Is this just pushes, right? can't like suck them towards things oh unless I could oh I forgot I could pull in general some objects of course see okay here's another problem Chad when you do a quick check you see how the game doesn't like always register that I should be running like see how like I walked up to it and the first thing he does is crouch so like if you're walking up to this sometimes you just get the run animation so you don't think that you could grab these. Like, that's an example there. Like, I'm not making this up. I swear the game does not do the grab animation. So it's like, I don't think I could grab these most of the time because of how warped it is. They really needed to put that on a different button, to be honest with you. I don't understand why they didn't put that on the cancel button versus the run button because of those issues. Do I seriously need that other block? Whatever. I feel like our character... Case in point. Like, I just walked up to that hit grab and he ran into it instead. Like, that's that's the kind of nonsense I'm talking about. I really don't appreciate that from, like, a game design standpoint. 
Oh, I guess... The game will be very finicky with me. Why don't I just push it this way? This will make my life easier. Like, I think I did that last time in the last block puzzle, where, like, if I'm, like, moving at it, and, like, I just happen to line up with it and run, he'll just, like, run into it like an idiot. I recall in the escape sequence that happened at least once. And it's because of the fact that they map dash and movement. So if I... Because, like, in both cases, they lean forward. Just the only difference is he puts his arms forward in one of them. You know what? I'll use Buka here. Every gear acquired. Okay, it, it is, uh, I was gonna say, I had a feeling it was for Thesaurus. The Thesaurus should just be unkillable to melee at this point. Also, at some point I should probably class skill up. Sadly, we've used so few bullets, I don't even think there's a reason to restock. Hmm. Oh, so th oh, so that was the solution. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna kick it because I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I was literally about to say that. I'm like, I literally don't know what the game wants me to do. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. Also, there's a hidden passageway down there. I should probably go deal with that. Holy, there's so many hidden doorways, Chad. How many of these do we need? Dispense. You know what? I'm using Blackie. This Parish. So she one-shots them. I don't care if you're resistant, as long as you don't heal. Damn, you healed. Oh well, and that's why we have other characters to finish things off. See now the now the non-elemental hit everything is gonna be like wow he's he's basically just gonna one shot every encounter. There's another hidden door. Jeez. I wonder if I missed one already. To be honest. Oh boy, another puzzle. These are Roman numerals. Looks like a clock. Okay. The path is higher than the evil eye. It severs everything. A lower chin-biting steel starts a fire. The leaping flame opposes the flow of time splitting open the eye's pupil. <laughs> Chat, what did any of that mean? Do, are these... There's one that's higher than normal, but I don't see what the difference is between any of the other ones. Path is higher than the... I don't know what the evil eye is. A lower chin biting seal starts a fire. Is, is that a hint to use one of the lower ones? You think playing it plays the flow of time splitting open the eye's pupil. What? Um, okay, let me think about this. Alright, well, I'm assuming I have to do something with this. So, what do I do? I can, I can go up these stairs. Okay. So I could drop down on a statue. Does that do anything for me? Am I supposed to like shoot the other statue with a fireball? Is that what that nonsense was about the fire? Uh. <laughs> I was like, I my brain was not translating that puzzle right away. I was like, what am I what am I even witnessing? I don't understand. So, I'm really happy that we have found two things. 
But I don't know if I've missed any more. Could have found a save point, though. I think it was just there to confuse you. I don't... I don't see any other purpose. <laughs> okay. So if I step on this, what happens? Okay. Not gonna lie, not really understanding what that does for me. There's a switch over there. Before I hit... Oh, I... Oh, of course, I, I can't go across that small gap. That's just impossible. Alright, so there's a treasure chest over here, which I do want. There's more than one switch. Having trouble won't respond if you just step on it normally. Maybe if you trample it with a real strong impact, it'll respond. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to drop down on it. I'm assuming that's what the hint was. So there's two switches. I could go over here first. I think that does what I wanted to do to get the treasure. Are we sure they they you know they wanted to be sacrificed? Because this seems like a really inconvenient way to send people. I'm just saying, chat. I want the item first. Oh boy, did we get a thing for hello? Oh, chat. Look at him become more unkillable. We're gonna do this so we could go back, presumably. So that I understand. There's not enough switches to confuse me as to their purpose. So this one I actually understand start to finish what I think it wants me to do. It's a part of the ritual, don't question their customs. So it's like, okay, this is the simplest puzzle we've dealt with so far, as opposed to whatever you want to call some of the other things we were doing. And again, yet another area I can't skate in, because of the fact that I'll just constantly walk into stuff. Alright, so I need to fall on this one. As a reminder, he'll they'll just go sailing off the sides for no reason. Okay. What the heck is the purpose of this room? There's a lower floor. There's an upper room. I still go lower first. With my rad blades. Oh, this isn't. I thought this was a doorway. Huh. Do I put the two statues I found on this or something? No. Oh dear, indeed. So, it feels like I should be able to do something here. I'm gonna try it just very briefly. Alright, so we're not grabbing it. In theory, I might be able to move these blocks if they weren't stacked. See, that's blocking another exit. I don't see anything else to do in here. We're gonna come back to this room. I don't see anything we could do in it currently. Unless I, oh, unless I could kick in the bottom block or something weird. Or blow it up. We should try both. Damn, chat. There we go. <laughs> I was like... I swear, chat. They're, they really want to make you work for these doors. Okay, what? Okay. We have the color scale. What's your nonsense hit this time? The fierce will of the blaze turns to stone. These form a dam, but don't break the flow of time. I'm assuming it means go clockwise. Best to submerge the fierce will. I know when in doubt, just kick things. I mean, that, I mean that's worked twice so far. You're not wrong. Um. Best to submerge the fierce will. Sink the stone and lure the flow. 
Aim for the flow's end of time. Hmm. Okay. And all matters don't be misled and don't oppose. To be present is the power to live. Do you just want me to push the statues? Use the word submerge. That was my only takeaway. Of like, there's stuff in the corners that's different than the other rooms. I don't know if it matters which one I push it in. I'm just gonna say get rid of these. Screw this room. It's possible I need to, like... I don't know if it matters what corner they're in. Okay, I guess that works. Shadow Hearts flashback intensify. I know at this point I'm expecting to walk the rainbow to go to the bonus passage. So again, these things on the floor don't do anything. Cool. You like the decoy puzzles, chat? Stone God acquired. Okay. Maybe that's all the ones I need, or maybe I need another one. The magic numbers of three and four are pretty common. There's light emanating from the medium. The will of the guardians is tied together and growing larger. Appears to be one giant life form. What in the world is it? Come on, form the mecha robot thing, I dare you. The massive light says, We are Gaia, the body of collective consciousness for all guardians. While we are a crowd, we are also individuals. We're the one and only Gaia. We are the life of stars. I have brought the pillar boy. Uka, Uka, our dispatch guide. You have served well. Uka's been guiding hello according to Gaia's will. Still nothing of the sacred precincts, but that destiny would rule once Puka and hello met. Destiny? That's right. Hello, boy of the pillar. Everything is a part of destiny spinning on the wheel. It's a planned accord. Accept your fate as the pillar. Though Gaia is now being confronted by an unprecedented crisis, the only ones who could stop it are us, Gaia, and... one who could deliver our power. The boy of the pillar. You, hello. Why does Puka sometimes refer to itself as I and sometimes as Puka? <laughs> I think because it technically has no cell, but I think they... I think it's just a translation thing. Please wait. What in the world is going on in Philgaia now with the sky being devoured? Gaia dot dot dots it. It's not fair for you to become a human pillar without knowing. All right, I shall tell you. <coughs> the invading presence in this world is none other than the other world. <coughs> ah. The other world? Right. The other world is consuming Philgaia. Just like us, the world is a collection of small lives that is one big spirit. That world has overstepped its boundaries and is devouring other worlds. This is inconceivable. It's ridiculous. She's criticizing the plot, I see. At first, the invasive eating took the shape of small beings. They were monsters and were f the first survival of beings to oppose Fogai's paradigm. But the fray in the world's boundaries grew and soon a larger vessel was needed. A larger vessel to attain another spirit. In other words, Phil Gaia itself. Isn't there something we could do? Unfortunately, there's nothing. Your physical power can't really harm this conceptual world. Think about it. Even if you use weapons, there is no effect. That's what it means to have a conceptual world as an opponent. No response. Like having a cancer cell as an opponent. The boy at the pillar. Do you understand now? To fight the other world, we, as similar conceptual beings, must be released. When you have something of value, the path you must choose will become naturally clear. When life is held out before us, we can protect anything. Low dot 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 dots.
I don't want to. Hey, Pillar, why do you hesitate? For the Pillar to be given as an offering for, for Philgaia. Even if it is my destiny, I can't accept it. I'm not afraid of dying. I just don't want to give my life to something I doubt. Even if I protect Philgaia as the Pillar now, the doubts in my heart won't be resolved. To die as a sacrificial offering is an easy choice. To give your life to protect what's important to you. How can you object to that, boy of the pillar? It's because I... I, Puka, beg you. Puka will search for answers to the pillar's doubts. Guide Puka, is that your will? Puka dot dot dots. That's it. Gaia dot dot dots. Then all right. Pillar, the choice is yours. Be sure to make your decision before it's too late. Puka. What is it? You don't have a self. You're the transforming subspirit Puka. You have not forgotten, have you? I have not forgotten. Force divide acquired. Power divider is a hello force skill. The guardian's powers, all enemies' powers will be cut in half. <laughs> wow. Chad, it's like, okay, so if he doesn't just instantly one-shot everything, he just debuffs the enemy. He just basically learned Jelen. Like, it's all over, chat. Like, he just doesn't care at all. Actually unkillable. Okay. Something happened. I guess we'll call. It's me, Roger Bashley here. We have an emergency here. Here's the short version. Talk to me. Cliche has been abducted. Oh no, chat. Who would have seen the love interest would be kidnapped? That cliche. Cliche abducted. How? I'll tell you the rest later. Return to Valeria Chateau. Hmm. All right. Ashley Winchester, I have something that you love. Meet me at the ruins of the Lost Garden on the Lone Island in the Inland Sea. Frozen Lake of Hell, first round? <laughs> what? Wait, hold, wait. <laughs> what is, what, who signs a letter like that? They're like, imagine doing this and then just writing Frozen Lake of Hell, first round. What, what? This is the ransom note. Frozen Lake of Hell first round. Who is that? Maybe it refers to Coctus Cana. So she's alive? But how? Wait. That. What? That's supposed to be Cana? What? What? I. Oh. Did I miss something? When was that ever brought up? <laughs> it's like. What? That doesn't matter. Apparently not. I really don't understand how they made that jump. I have to save Cliché as quickly as I can. Yeah, that's very cliché. Calm down, Bashley. You're like a bomb ready to explode. Your emotions are the trigger, so calm down. Can't believe it. Cliché. We know it's a trap, but we still have to go. I understand. Saving cliches are top priority. You all must go to the Lost Garden with all haste. Bashley, you must control your inner self. We'll find out as much as I can about Lord Blazer from here. Uh, Villain, we literally have him in... We, he's, he's benched? He's not even fighting anymore? I'm sorry, Villain. I mean, it might as well be Terra's Pharma. I think this is the one that I want to go to. Oh my gosh, I remembered which doorway it was. <laughs> Just... I feel... 
<laughs> I feel like chat will just start attributing random things and then just put like frozen like a pal round one <laughs> with like no other clarification. Are you not gonna tell me where this place is? Right. right chat, they didn't tell me, right? Like I didn't just like miss it. Are you really expecting me to go to talk to everybody on that damn ship for locations? I might as well just sail around. I'll probably find it. should probably restore my arms at this point. Not that I used any recently. Money total is actually looking pretty good. 123,000. We didn't get many fights in the other dungeons, so it's possible I could have missed something. Like an actually interesting enemy, but whatever. I like going back. But keep in mind, Hello can technically get stronger as a reminder. I could reduce his MP usage. It's advanced guard. Hmm. Could you convert HP so he actually has a healing ability? That way I get, like, generic healing every time. That's... That's more of a convenience thing than, like, a needed thing. I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna reduce his FP usage by one. Uh... Let's improve your physical defense. Actually, it's six points. Wow, I super don't care. Um... I guess I'll give him double magic defense. Because his physical defense is okay. Asaurus needs to get a little more. He needs one more level, though. Vicky, I don't know if it matters what we give her at this point, to be honest. She's got physical defense up. That's probably good enough. But anyway, we, we now take less damage playing with one of our main characters against a very common damage type. So that'll probably help with survival. Oh, right, I gotta use the teleport, whatever. An ancient structure located on an island in the Inland Sea. Okay, so we got a hint by using the call. I mean, isn't the Inland Sea, like, not that far from me? I mean, I have to teleport here no matter what, because I need the boat. Oh, that's not where I thought I teleported to. Uh... I need the boat a little closer, chat. Like, just a little teeny bit closer. I guess it's over here somewhere. Is it anywhere along the north where I couldn't go before? Oh, I see a destination already. I guess that answers that question. Yeah, that was pretty easy to find. Boy, oh boy, would I like flight so I could get some items. You know, for a lost garden, that was pretty easy to find. Cliché's here. I have to save her. I don't know what I'll do if anything happens to Cliché. Control yourself. And it will only jeopardize the mission, especially with you. Unsettled emotions can't help but eventually explode. Ugh. Hey, don't always keep all that in by yourself. Let's hurry, but keep your cool. The safe cliche as much as you. Sorry, you guys. You need your help. You need to help me save cliche. just to see what they are. As tempting as it is to skip all encounters, I at least want to see the enemy designs. Okay. Uh, okay, so I- Oh, I did not mean to fall off there, that sucks. I'm assuming I just stand on the other- Oh, oh this time it reset the puzzle. Cute. 
I'm assuming I just use that to get to the next area. I'm now just like paranoid about missing random doorways. Not a good sign, but that's fine. What is that face? There's a block with a face on it. Yeah, no, that's that's what it is. I kick it or wind push it? I haven't wind pushed in like forever. Hmm. Welcome, Promethean. You're doing well. That did a lot of damage. The star is finally level. Well, he's gonna be super tanky for sure. Small hallway and a long hallway. Assuming I can't do anything with the face block yet. Oh, we already know what the weaknesses of these things are, so that's convenient. Goodbye, jellyfish things with helmets. They did literally zero damage. Well, I guess the physical defense up is paying off, right, chat? I'm taking literally zero damage in the dungeon now due to that. So yeah. Oh, maybe it's not levels that are impacting my defense. Maybe it's because he's able to hit rank three there. He's basically... I didn't mean to run. That actually really sucks. I went to menu and then hit right to go use another ability. I don't even get stats for that. That's the worst part. Oh, well, I was gonna use a, a moment to heal, but that's fine. I don't technically need it. Why are we still getting crests? So this character- Vicky is so useless. I'm literally never going to use her again. While Hello exists, there's literally zero reason to use her. He has more elements and he's got better healing, like GG. This is within the control circle of Kyanis Randolph, the magic key, who's keeping the door closed. Control Randolph's magic powers. It's necessary to leave someone here to conduct mental jamming. Leave someone as a jammer. Choose one person from the party. Bye, Vicky. <laughs> right, chat? Bye. Step into the seal of Worry Calcos, pretty much. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel combat there. I was hoping to see another enemy type. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna get down to just like one or two people. Which is fine if that happens. Alright, let's not accidentally retreat and make sure it goes to the right menu. Because <clears throat> I gotta defend with Thesaurus, defend with Irene, and then A, we heal with Hello. That way I'll be ready for the boss battle. Yeah, you can tell we're like... I don't know if we're overleveled necessarily, but we can tell we're very well statted. So interestingly, Irene definitely had less physical defense than Thesaurus, so I think the skill of physical defense does actually make a big difference there. Which is interesting. So weirdly, even though Irene has like a third less stats, she takes less damage due to how everything is set up. This thing. Just 
melee. It should be over. Oh, really? You're gonna whiff now? Okay, well, now I gotta wait for Thesaurus. So sad. I was gonna say, please actually land your hit. Thank you. This are really <laughs> the enemy can't even do anything. I'm like, come on, just end the fight. I re leveled. A little extra health for the boss is not bad. Honestly, I kind of just want to leave Bashley behind. I don't think he's that useful anymore. It's really funny because it's the game is very pro protagonist agenda, but I'm like, I honestly just don't care. Oh, that wasn't going to cause it to rise. It felt like a really unnecessary puzzle, I'm not going to lie. I mean, do you want me to just do this? Why did he not walk diagonal? Game, please. Whatever. There's a block I could fall on there. I guess it's fine. If I land on that... Land on this. Do I need to do anything else in this room? Hopefully not. I don't see anything else to do. Let's move on. I love how there's just a hole here. Yeah, yeah. You need somebody to get jammed. Yeah, let's leave Bashley behind. Which is hilarious. Because, like, it's like, okay, why don't you just stand there? I don't need you. There's a hole in the floor, but there's also a door. Hmm. Seriously, nothing else to do in this room. I'm like scared to go backwards because I, I feel like there should be an item around here somewhere. I'll take one look around. I'm feeling paranoid about this. There's something on the other side that I can't see. I mean, I could just redo the puzzle if I really need to. Hmm. I don't see anything to drop down into. Let me know, chat, if you see a red chest in here. I was looking to see if there's anything I could do here. Really? Oh, that's right, I can't walk diagonal across there. Oh, <laughs> it popped me up through the floor. That was interesting. I like that. Hmm, maybe there is nothing to do in here. Oh, well. What is this hole for? Oh, it's in case I want to get the other party member back. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, well. Gotta redo the puzzle anyway. And where it's a shortcut later to go back. I wasn't sure if that would lead to like an item room or something else. Anyway, I don't see anything in this room, so I'm assuming we'll be fine here. I just find it weird there's like a ramp here, like I'm, I guess to maybe correct what I'm supposed to do. Unless it's one of those dumb things where I can't see it because of the camera angle, but hopefully not. I don't see any other alternate passageways. Platinum this game is pretty dang good. Welcome, Sugans. 
Not sure how I feel about the game overall. I would have to say I'm not a fan of the puzzles. There's a lot happening here. If I step on that, I can alternate and get there, but what does that do for me? thinking about this chat. I could go diagonal across the gears, but I'm gonna put one down. Uh, kind of, yeah. I'm guessing I just do this. I don't see what else I would do for now. I guess this should work. I wasn't sure if I needed to do anything else over here, but I guess not. I don't see anything that would have prevented me from, like, going the other side, but that's fine. Actually, knowing this game, I'm probably gonna have to go back for Bashley. It's gonna be so unfortunate. I really don't want to use him, chat. I just don't- I don't- I don't want him in the party. He's too slow at this point. No, I don't really want to use a guide while playing. Mm -hmm. Just zap these, I guess. I mean, if I gotta redo all the puzzles, I guess I know how to do them at the moment. I just feel like if it's gonna require me to have Bashley at the end, why even give me the option of not putting him- Why even allow me to put him there? I wish it just gave me a prompt like, he's too mentally unstable at the moment to act as the mental barrier. I don't think that would have been a stretch. Yeah, this game just kind of has puzzles for the sake of puzzles, which really kills the pacing of the game. Like, these dungeons are just so long compared to Wild Arms 1. And Wild Arms 1 dungeons were mostly just long due to the fact that you had a ton of encounters. And now they're long without encounters. I need to do this. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I hope Wild Arms 3 is not this puzzle heavy. There's... Okay, there's a chest. I don't know if these are up or down, though, which is kind of unfair. How do I tell if they're up or down? Assuming I just step on one, and that should be fine. I guess they were in the down position. Phantom Fang is a bayonet cartridge to use with Bashley. I like how it showed Bashley even though he's not in the party, by the way. I have a nice little glitch there, game. The new item provides new ammunition for the bayonet. It attacks a single enemy with high voltage energy shells. Yeah, there's a reminder. <laughs> he showed up to grab the item, but they just yeeted <laughs> into another dimension again. I have a terrible feeling we're gonna be down to just a couple characters. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know what, it's... Grossed. We're gonna get rid of everybody that is not hello. I'm a ghost, pretty much. I mean, let's be honest, chat, they're not killing hello. The character is actually a god. I think they made a big mistake with the level up system in this game. I don't like the hard commit on the levels. But I also don't like that there's things where, like, you have to be low level to take advantage of them. Like, the HP up on level up. I feel like that kind of ruins the game.
Also, not being able to undo your, uh, what's it called? The weapon updates is pretty horrendous. We have this moving platform. Don't know if I want to step on that yet. So hopefully Wild Arms 3 realizes people don't like lock being locked into paths or being forced to take certain skills. Let's see where this takes us first. I'm assuming I step on this to go upwards at some point. Do this to lower it. And we'll do this. Drop off. Go here. Yeah, there's just like little things where I could see they're like feeling out the system. So I'm hoping when they're... Actually, that won't work. I'm hoping when they are good and ready, they clean up some of the nonsense. Like, like I hope the overworld exploration is also fixed. Wow. Did you see what happened there, chat? The one time I step on a switch and it doesn't go up and down is the time it's over a death pit, so it resets the roof. Holy. I swear they made this annoying on purpose. I guess I walked on a magic spot to not trigger them, because all every other time you do that, chat, it halts your movement. Gosh, a waste of time. I must have walked literally between them, but not intentionally. Are these raised now, or are they... Yeah, they're raised again. It's so annoying. Yeah, I, I I clipped it by like walking like this. Like I walked dead center on the line unintentionally. It's kind of whack. So anyway, let's go this way. Speaking of which, <laughs> I, I feel like that's kind of a glaring oversight. Why am I allowed to walk between the blocks like that? Game, please. Yeah, see that? Yeah, that's that's 10 out of 10 there, chat. <laughs> I I don't think this was play tested. You can't you can't prove to be otherwise. Now the question is, do I need to do anything with them again? Okay, no. Actually, I should have checked to see if there's an item in the other side. Hold on. Is there an item over here? There's not. Okay. Oh, there is a doorway over here. What's over here? Oh, there is a chest. Oh, Mega Berry. Pff, that wasn't worth it. I thought you were going to give me an armor or something or a weapon. I don't care about Mega Berry. Need healing in this game. It's fine. You know I'm going to have to do this puzzle again. I feel like it's going to require Bashley. I love that there's that little switch all the way down there. Love that. Anyway, we're left with the most powerful party member who literally can't lose any boss battles at all at this point. A ridiculous character. Written challenge for Bashley is carved into the stone tablet. To Bashley Winchester, the one who stole a servant's fell the object of my affection and protector. Long awaited for the opportunity to have an audience with you in the land of promise. Hurry to me, for I will bury your everything. Your tombstone will read your everything. <laughs> oh, that was really cheesy. Soon you will know, as I have, how it feels to have lost everything. Oh, I do need Bashley. Damn, that sucks. Big F in the chat. I gotta go all the way back. Damn. If, if we saved him a little later, we would have had to have redo less. Why even give me the option, though? Damn. Like, honest question. Damn. Oof. So unfortunate. Again, these are the just kind of the little things. Like, why let me do this and make me redo the puzzles? What was the point of that? Other than to annoy the player? Like, honest question. I 
I, whatever. I don't feel like doing the puzzles as intended. <laughs> we did it, we did it legitimately once. At this point, I just want to clear the puzzle. Whatever. So I'd really prefer to not get into any encounters, I say as I get in an encounter. Uh, spoilers, he's already fighting alone. Please leave this encounter. Yeah, I love that basically Bashley, there's no purpose to Bashley at our party. He's not the fastest party member, and he's not the strongest, and he doesn't have the best magic, so I, there's no reason for me to use him at all. Just so sad, but very true. Wait, can I just do this? There we go, chat. We're shortcutting the puzzles. When you've had enough of the puzzles, I might as well save again. So I don't have to redo all that again. The Bachelor's gonna get further ahead in level, which is kind of unfortunate because as I said before, I don't really care about his power up state. I mean, I guess he, he'll eventually become strong when his minimum level is higher. But right now, I just don't feel like it's worth building him up. So I had to step on that in order to get through here. I technically could save time by standing in these two things. Might be able to hit the switch fast enough, we'll see. Almost. Wait here. Shaking my head, chat. Wild arms! <laughs> right, chat? Like, is, is this what they thought would be like a great adventure? Just making us wait forever? So many questions, chat. So wild, so arms, exactly. Just like, I, I don't know. It's like, just. I, I kind of understand the gimmick of this place, but at the same time, it's like, geez. <sighs> Fine, what do you want me to do here? I gotta hit the switch at some point. So I gotta reach the green one. Okay. <laughs> right, chat? When you're done with- when you're officially done with the puzzles, the puzzles are cancelled. <laughs> uh, what was the intended solution? Who knows, chat. Don't care. Oh. I don't know if I wanted to do that then. It's my solution now. Where are you, Kayana? I'm here. I'm right here. How about returning cliché? So, you think you're the only one who lost something important? I really hate that. That bugs me so much. Ashley? Cliché, hang on. I'm coming to save you. To think that our troubles and the girls are treated the same. To me, no, to Phil Gaia. Sir Vince felt it was a very important figure. I can't imagine discussing a future that doesn't include him, but it was you! Yes, I destroyed Vince Feld. If you want your revenge, I'll fight you. Revenge? You've got it wrong. What I want isn't anything like that. A what? What I want is for you to experience the same thing I did. Isn't that revenge? Do you understand? No. I would dot 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 that too. The, I, um, yeah, oh dear indeed. 
In other words, I want you to experience losing something important just as I did. Yeah, that's revenge. Cliche. Here we go, we leaped ahead. It is true that a powerful being exists within a human body. This being, Lord Blazer, is controlled by the desire to protect that which he loves, but this same desire to protect that which he loves also invokes his enormous power. Extreme desire may pry off the lid and release its fury, which cannot be controlled. Arms itself might set this force of uncontainable violence loose upon the world. This isn't revenge, so this chat describes revenge exactly. This overnight bee. Overnight bee? It sounds like a booking a hotel. Chat, they really need to name that something else. <laughs> so I guess we're we're getting the explanation for our power up, I guess. Okay, we're now very red. No, Kaina! An incandescent flash as the two steps shift from a thermal overload. Those were certainly words. That's right, Bashley. It's the power of that creature. Ugh. This is the power that saves what's important. It's a better name, like Frozen Lake of Hell, Third Circle, exactly. Wrong, Bashley Winchester. That is the ominous power which steals important things. Oh, I am super injured from earlier fights. That is really awkward. I need to heal. We haven't been using him for so long, chat. You know what? I might as well as Mega Berry. When else, when else am I gonna bother using this? Eight of his old. I mean, we probably need to build up our FP meter anyway, so this is fine. Oh, you poisoned me. Come on. We have Banisher, last burst, so that's new. Final burst of living energy. Banisher was pretty good, but we know that these will basically cut off our ability. We use Gunblaze. I'm assuming she might have as much health as she did last time. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I didn't need to heal. I was thinking we're gonna do like 2k or maybe 2.5, but 4k is a pretty big difference. Even with the poison, I think she's just kind of done. I'm kind of sad she poisoned me, because that's like, that's like the only thing that will injure me. I kind of want to see what this final attack is. So once I get 99, I'm just gonna attack again. I don't think I'm gonna bother healing. We should have it this turn. Condition green, I think, cures poison, which is convenient. We're back at the same health total we were at before. Let's try last burst. Did that reduce us to 1 HP? Holy. Oh, I don't know if that's worth using in the future. We got very lucky that the boss was dead, I guess. Now you can experience the pain of losing something important. My wish has finally come true. <laughs> I took from you what's important to you. Took it away with my own hands. Well, that's an ability I don't really want to use. Because <laughs> I don't know boss HP totals. I took it from you. I took it from you. Yet this hollow sensation inside. What could it be? Please tell me, Sir Vinsfeld. Good. Cliché, are you alright? Cliché? Don't come any closer! What's wrong? 
who are you? Who? Cliche, I'm... I don't know you. Don't assume bashfully shape. Don't speak with the same voice. Don't speak so tenderly. Please, return bashfully to me. Can I use kick boots to shove her off the platform, chat? <laughs> I'm sorry, Cliché. Cliché, I wish I'd spoken to you sooner when I had the chance. But I couldn't say it because I was scared. Sorry, Cliché. Please see what you could do for Cliché. Cliché! I can't reach him anymore, can I? What? Was she supposed to say this line? I guess you won't forgive me after all. I know, Blue Donna. Did did he mean did he mean to say sh I can't reach her anymore? Or was she supposed to say I can't reach him anymore? I I don't know. Whatever. Dialogue, please. Ashley says cliche. I, I. Listen. Nothing of value was lost. No, Ashley wasn't wrong. It was I who was wrong. It's I who cannot be forgiven. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's giving me real, like, Seymour Skinner vibes with, uh, no one is the children who are wrong. When Bashley needed support most, I couldn't say anything to him. I'm sorry. It's like I can't do anything right. Why am I so weak? This is all happening within, like, a scene of each other. I don't think this is having the emotional impact the game really desired. Lord Blazer can't reach, I don't know. I'm assuming he was supposed to say I can't reach her. I, I guess would make the most sense. But yeah, this dialogue is definitely a mess. If this was a recent game, I would have wondered if they used Google Translate. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with some of the earlier games. SNES included. The translation is just terrible. Did you measure correctly? I wouldn't intentionally measure incorrectly, would I? Yeah, well, there's no room for error this time, so measure it again. I did already. No matter how many times I measure it, I get the same results. The huge thermonuclear mass near Sector 326 in Cradle Constellation is heading for Filgaia. We match it against the pattern skilled Galad gave us. Looks like the nuclear weapon... Grosswein. Good lord. Are we gonna fight the bomb? Is that what's happening here? Hey, chat, let's go punch a bomb real quick. A recent one would have just used ChatGPT Translate for the script and for them instead. Well, maybe it's a ChatGPT script translated. <laughs> so may maybe they originally typed the prompt and then it went through Google Translate. You gotta layer them. According to the observation, oh, excuse me, according to the observatory in the Celt region, the nuclear dragon, nuclear dragon, of course. The nuclear dragon, Grosswain, is now heading towards Filgaia at a top speed of 480. 480 what? Who knows? Don't bother with units. The heat given off by Grosswain has a radar jamming effect, pre preventing precise trajectory determination. It'll take a little longer to extrapolate the point of impact. King Amiria Bull says, Fine parting gift Odessa has left us. One peril aims to devour Filgaia as another threatens to blow it up. Sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster says chat, maybe. Both are beyond my powers of understanding. I'm at a loss. Someone must draw Grosswain away from Filgaia, or... What on earth are you getting at, Double G? <laughs> Call them Double G? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Exactly, Ludana, why? The nuclear dragon will blow up as soon as he lands. Ancient records say Grosswein is simply an empty reactor when first summoned. He must accumulate energy before initiating a nuclear reaction. There we go, we're gonna punch the dragon to death. Take that weapon. That's very interesting, but what good does that information do us? That's it, Guild Galad Master, that's the key. You are indeed astute, Sir Villain. Grosswain will first seek out sources of energy to absorb. That means he could be lured with a high energy reaction. In other words, he could get him to land where we want him to. 
But where can we get an energy generator we could control? Where do you think we are now? The entire city... Uh, I was gonna say, I honestly didn't know where they were. <laughs> then I was like, oh right, they are in Gilgalad. The entire city of Gilgalad is a collection of small factories. If linked, they would form a huge complex with an energy output equivalent to the alchemic plant. You will use your own country as bait, Double G. I do not intend to let Grassween destroy Gilgalad at will. <laughs> yeah, truly, truly the best decision, chat. Listen. There's a giant thing threatening to blow up the planet, so clearly we gotta lure it to where all the people are. <laughs> that, that'll that teach the nuclear weapon. Well, will you and Arm stop the nuclear dragon? Of course we will. Guild Galad Master, I'm truly grateful to you. It's like, can you imagine like in a similar scenario where they're like, a shark attack could come from anywhere, but we know sharks need food to eat. Therefore, the best way to determine where the shark is, is to put everybody on one small raft and float it out there. <laughs> that, that'll, that'll lure the shark out. I mean, it has that kind of, like, logic and feel to it. Like, to hear how insane that is. <laughs> and just like, of course, you know what? We're just nodding along, it's fine. Well, listen to this. Such humility. How unusual for you. Yes, well, I'm to blame for this mess. Besides, as a proud Philgayan, I'll be damned if I go out without a fight. We will begin preparations to intercept Grosswing. Very good. We will start linking the city's factories to create our makeshift generator. I'm glad he could just do that too. Our plan against Grosswing is beautifully simple. We'll lure it with Gildegalad's high energy and attack before its nuclear reaction. That is it. Luckily, Grosswing's rate of descent is relatively slow. We will move Valeria Chateau to ground zero in Gildegalad when your preparations are complete. We only have one chance to succeed, and failure is not an option. Bashley, you will not join us. I forbid you to take part in the battle with Grosswing. You understand why, don't you? You mean... The Fury? That's right. Grosswein is a monster dragon of tremendous power. If you were to confront it, Lord Blazer might awake within you as a response to its power. I, I understand. Sorry. I would like to act as support... Until the battle, though. Um... I just fly. I don't think I need any prep for this. Oh, I well, I can always change my party members. Doesn't really matter. Now we will rid the world of Grosswein. All members except Bashley are to meet on the deck when we arrive at the engagement point. Bashley is restricted from action indefinitely. Wait in the chateau's personal room until further orders. Please understand. What in the world should I do? I can't even express my own feelings the way I want to. Why can't you express them? Ashley? I just talk to him. This isn't really... This isn't really rocket science chat. It's like, okay. Oh, there we go. Floating dragon. We'll fix our party in a moment. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Did I restock my uh, high sparks? If I didn't, that'll be kind of sad. I didn't check, actually. This is the nuclear dragon, Grosswein. Let's we'll stop it before it starts a thermonuclear reaction. Only have one chance to succeed. If we fail, Philgaia will disappear in a flash. That might have been a small error on my part. I should have checked that before the boss battle. I don't care about healing. We're fine there, probably. Has the battle begun? Depending on all of you. Stop Grosswein. Save Philgaia, please. Dot dot dot. Can't even protect what I love. What am I doing here?
I hope he gets healed in between, or I'm gonna feel very sad. Alright, so I'm at full health. This is almost the party that I want. <laughs> right, chat? Almost. <laughs> Bye, Vicky. We don't need you. Let's see, moment of truth. Did I leave myself a useful thing? I might not have. SS. Multiplies magic power by 1.5. Nice. Hmm. I don't see them in here. I'm assuming I forgot to use them. That's fine. The strongest one am cluster on mower. Remember, it might have been lawnmower. Uh, let's hit your belly. Then you look like a giant mecha thing. Let's try lightning. Yeah, we'll make sure next time we go to town to restock those uh, capsules. Okay, so it's not weak to lightning. So this will take a few turns, because we don't have, like, the boss delete item. That's fun. Okay, decent damage. Nuclear Sphere. How much is this gonna do? I mean, I'm pretty tanky. I'm worried about Irene. I don't think I care about the other party members that much. Yeah, so only Irene would die if it attacks again. So sadly, she's just not tanky enough. I guess I could wire fist the belly. If he has a turn where he doesn't use that attack, I could just kill him with hello, I think. So she's gonna get gradually better because she built up more and more meter. We'll see how much health it has. Will it be like 10,000, 15,000, 20? So unfortunately, he's doing enough that I have to heal with her potentially every time. Unless I defend. I could do in theory. We'll build up more meter. I mean, Thesaurus can take like three hits in a row, so he's definitely very useful in this fight. Only Irene's really holding us back, sadly. If she had slightly more health, this wouldn't be happening. Oh? It only has 8,000 on the other body part? That's good. I could focus on big damage here. So I could force her to defend a turn. That way I could use Hello's damage. Let's use Lock On with Lawn Mower. This is our best one. And use Gatling 3. Actually, I should probably just defend. Got Divide. Fine. Uh... See how he reacts to ice. So we've done maybe about 4,000 to the boss already, plus 2,000 from that. Imagine we don't have too many more turns to go with the boss. Oh, that's it? Blow hit 44? Oh, chat, come on. Nuclear reaction is accelerating Grouseween. Also, that was a lot of experience. Maybe I should have carded that. Maybe it's impossible from the very beginning for humans to stop Grouseween. Dot, dot, dot. It comes to it. Ram the chateau into the beast. It's already too late to save Vilgaia. Ashley's not in his room. Chief. Report. Ashley's no longer in his ordered location. What? He can't be. <laughs> the goofy running animation. Shoot. We seem to be having no effect at all. Let's stop it, stop it before the thermonuclear reaction reaches its threshold.
More. We need more strength or we're doomed. Ashley. Flies in. Don't... Don't do it, Villain. It's wrong to sacrifice too much for an ideal. No, you think so too, Villain. That day you told me you wanted to fight alongside us. Listen to me now. Right now, this is the only way for us to fight together. Okay, he's fortunately in high health. So... I guess I just build meter on his belly. The question is how much health does he have now? Uh, let's find out. I mean, if it's... It was like under 8,000. We should be able to pop him a little bit here. So the fight didn't end, which is fine. Well, maybe not fine, because it depends on what the boss does here. Might be in trouble. The boss missed us? Alright, so we didn't end the fight instantly, but we do have our other abilities. Let's do ball action. But well, we didn't kill any of these parts, that's awkward. Sphere is going to do a lot of damage. We'll go back up to our super form pretty soon. We only need to take a couple hits. Hopefully he has resistance to it. Okay, he does. So we're within like one hit of killing the boss. So I think what I needed to do was attack maybe one more time on each of the parts and that would have killed. Let's use Big Berry here because no matter what we'll be able to access. If he normal attacks here, we're good. If not, we still have access, which is fine. But I think one more of that should just end the fight. We're gonna burn two healing items for safety reasons. Come on, do a normal attack. Really? I just want to make sure we're not in kill range, chat. In case I lose a turn with access. Okay, I should not die if I access now. So sadly, if he keeps spamming Nuclear Sphere, there's nothing I can really do. Meltdown? Uh-oh. How much is that gonna do? Not that much. I'll take one more safety heal, sadly. So if I if I had just attacked, like, one more time on each of the parts, I think the battle would have been over. But I don't want to risk something like it just whips, or the boss dodges, or something dumb. That'd be a pretty bad way to game over. So I think we only need one hit, maybe, or two. Depending on if we crit. Actually, we have Hot Fencer. Maybe this will be fine now. We need to do like 2,000 ish. Yeah, see, that wouldn't have killed. See, we would have game over there, Chad. I'm glad we healed. But now it should be over. But I guess it has literally 8,000 health. Based off the map. Wow, that is a big difference in damage. So yeah, if I if I had tapped it with that for sure. Oh well. Ooh, look at him going gray and shattering. Nice effect. More XP for him. He doesn't need levels. Full carrot acquired. And a nice feeling. The battle thus sets me free. The moment your heart becomes tainted with mine. It's the moment all of Phil Gaia becomes the blood red stain of disaster. Ha 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 ha. Should thank you, Bashley Winchester. Are you and your fellow humans being kind enough to free me again? Hmm? Ashley? No, it can't be. Ashley's face is all twisted. His kindness has disappeared. You stop it from getting out. Lord Blazer has awakened. Ashley's heart is no longer a cage that can hold him. It's Lord Blazer, God of Disaster. Ashley, you'd hear us, can't you? Do our voices reach you at all? No! I'm holding it back. Must 
do it now. Quickly. You must strike me down. But before the Lord Blazer is released. We can't. We could never. Lifts. He literally told you to do this. How can you say that? Irene, it is you who must do it. You must fulfill your destiny and your promise to me. Now is the time. It has finally come to this. Oh my gosh. You see, now we're just... See, chat, we should have just ended Bashley. <laughs> now we're causing problems. Fool, my hand betrays me. No, it is my heart. I guess I'm no true hero after all. Why can't I act? Why can't I strike the killing blow as I know I must? Wow, imagine having only one purpose and then just refusing to do it. Yeah! Bra, indeed. Bashley is our friend. That's why you can't strike him down. Is it really the duty of a hero to slay the comrade you care for? You should know that, Irene. That's why. It's too dangerous. He may look like Bashley, but he may no longer be. Just like this sky, his heart is being gnawed away by the god. That's why. That's why I'm here. I decided I'm going to protect the place for you to come back home to. You who are always so worn out from fighting, you look like you're about to collapse. I want to say welcome home to the person I love. Don't get near me, cliche. Stay away. Oh boy, this is a cliche. Exactly. Listen to me, Bashley. I decided something. Whatever happens, I want to be on your side. I want to hold your hand and never let go. My body's being gnawed away from the inside. I can't control it. You have to get away from me before I lose myself. If you don't... If I don't, what? Ashley dot dot dots. I feel the thoughts of Lord Blazer inside me. I know what he's capable of. He uses his power of destruction to tear Phil Gaia apart. I hope Blazer kills her. <laughs> I'm kind of on Team Blazer right now, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't bury me now while I'm holding him back, all will turn to ash. You must understand, cliche. If a guy is being threatened by a power, it can't withstand. He awakes. None will be able to resist him. All humanity will perish. Wario Gagasmar saying, also welcome to the chat. Ashley should kill these flies and be done with Philgaia of the Rotten World, maybe. I will nip the flower of humanity in the bud. Soon he will replace me in this body. I want to talk to you one last time, especially Winchester. Ashley? Run, run away quickly. Don't do it, Bashley! If you do that, you will truly become evil. Please, stop. Hard to breathe. I understand now. You must be fighting so hard against the evil that wants to destroy Philgaia. While you're fighting, for us, you were also fighting yourself. Please. Don't worry. I know the truth. Even without the empathy, I can sense the thoughts and kindness of Bashley. Thank you. Thank you. Even if you become evil, if you still have your kindness... What? No, wait, what? You will be Bashley to me, no matter what. I don't... I don't think that's how that works. I'm gonna go with I don't think that's how it works. Oh, then Parameter has been discovered as another star of destiny, apparently. Don't worry. No matter how far apart we get, I will still know where you are, Bashley. So you too, Bashley. Never forget there's a place for you to go home. Also, I think this means our power apples might have been wasted on him if he's about to leave the party. So I guess we'll put him on, uh... Irene going forward. Oh no, chat. He's going sort of Wario-esque. Let's attempt to voice this line. Ugh... <laughs> this would be like we'd be sitting here waiting for next order, pretty much. Oh, 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 I'm disappointed now. I won't go anywhere. No matter what you do, I believe in you. I'll be waiting for you to come back. I'll be keeping your home, our home, safe. You can come straight back to me where, wherever you are, whenever you want, whenever you want. Welcome home. I'll be strong enough to be able to say that whenever you need me to, Bashley. I know. Could you imagine? They could have had a dramatic scene where everything became, like, red-screened, except they became 
black outlines and it shows her dying. They could have to draw him a scene chat. So disappointing. Anyway, Elaine says, Today at 1 p.m. Brasween, the nuclear dragon was destroyed. The mission was a success. We are at last free of the Spectre of Odessa. What would we have done without the help of Guild Gulad Master? Is this my first time? Yes. I've never played the game before. I was only doing what anyone who loves this planet would do, which is apparently sacrifice the down people and use them as bait. It's ironic, isn't it? Without Odessa, the international teamwork that stopped the nuclear threat would never have been. Are you saying we benefited from Odessa? But then again, perhaps in a sense you are right. It is ironic, isn't it? Elaine dot dot dots. Ah, oh, but that monster dragon was indeed a dreadful creature. If a group of them attacked en masse, we would be done for, even with arms to help us. Most of the real dragons died and became fossils in ancient times. The organo-mechanical dragons built in Guild Galad are made from those fossilized dragons. That is how you knew they would be effective against Grasween. What? I mean they would be effective against Grasween. Guild Galad Master, are all the dragons dead now? Huh? <laughs> Blue Town is like, what is that? That's not inaccurate. If Grasween was sealed up as a summonable nuclear weapon, Maybe other dragons elsewhere that we could use to protect ourselves. No Goliath Master dot dot dots. Hmm. Now, this is just a rumor, and to be honest, I know not if there's any truth to it, but in Gilgalad, even today, the people speak of the legend of the last dragon. He is called Lombardia, the Dragon Caliber, legendary winged creature said to once rule the skies. Now that you've all faced the monster dragon forged of both flesh and machine, you know all too well its destructive capabilities. The power of the dragon against that which gnaws away at Filgaia. You must use the power of dragons, for it's stronger than that which humans hold. Hildgalad tells the legend of the last dragon. If, as the legend relates, we can make use of that power of that dragon. We can possess a power equal to that of Grassweeds. Uh... But will we be able to control such a great power? Why are we agreeing to capture this? Well, chat, if, uh, Villain finally decides to be evil, I would just like to say, we are dumb. <laughs> that is all. And we will not be corrupted by a Oh, and will we not be corrupted by a power that mighty? Could we ourselves become evil? I understand these things, for I contain Lord Blazer within me. Even if you think your heart controls the power, the heat of battle, it's power that rules the heart. That was the fate of both Slayheim and Odessa. That was their path to destruction. Am I wrong, Villain? I know what you're trying to say. If that Lord Blazer swells within you with the heat of each battle, that's why we need to use the power of the dragon. This is the power we need to stop the threat to Filgaia. What threat? Wait, no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, this doesn't... If we're following the game logic, we were told that only... Only the weird co other world components, the metaphysical components, whatever phrase they were using for it, could be used to stop the spreading of the other world taking over the current world. So what would a bomb do? I'm not following their logic with this. Our struggles against Odessa were just preparation for this. But are we truly stronger? Are we just stronger in battle? Or we have our or have our hearts grown too? I don't know. I just don't know. I do know that we don't have time to sit and wait for the answer. We must act now and learn the answer to that question when the time is right. Right now we must concentrate on protecting the world so that those who come later may judge. You're right. Right now we must think of protecting Filgaia above all. To return to the question, information says the dragon lives off the energy of magma. 
in which case our best chance is the sleeping volcano. The legendary dragon lies in the sleeping volcano, which the Rayline Observatory studied. I'm trying to think of where that is. The dormant volcano's magma is perfect for giving the dragon energy to sustain itself. Now for your next mission. Find the dragon in the sleeping volcano and ask for its aid. The name of the dragon is Lombardia, the legendary Wing of Heaven. That's sounding more and more like a Yu-Gi-Oh card chat, I'm not, I'm not unconvinced. Like quick, Bashley, you must summon the Winged Dragon of Raw. Pretty much there. So let's go back to town and go fill up the capsules. These are all just Yu-Gi-Oh cards, pretty much. Oh, hold on, we gotta... I keep forgetting by default it leaves me in the sky. It's kind of annoying. The Pirates of Maria Bull. No, I don't want to do that. Go, like, right here. So we're just gonna teleport, because then we can travel around if we need to. We're boss away from our own series of god cards, pretty much. Alright, so let's come over here and... Recharge the capsules. I guess I'll restock ammo. I am sad, though, that they basically hard nerf weapons compared to Wild Arms 1. Like, they're still good, but I really don't like that I can't max their accuracy and the damage. Which one was stronger, by the way? Oh, it was Lawnmower. I should probably pump this up then. This is going to be our main damage thing against bosses. So sadly, I messed up the bazooka because I didn't know about the level cap. I just thought it was a neat way of showing how many levels you had versus it stopped at 10. We still have Railgun, which I don't really intend on using. Also, I guess I should technically learn what this other ability is. Phantom Fang. Uh, I guess I'll upgrade its power. That's almost as strong as the bolt action currently. Not too bad. We have, like, the super accurate weapon for casual combat, but bolt action's, like, our big damage one. So, like, his weapons are fixed. The Saurus, I think, so far is kind of out of luck. I don't think there's gonna be a way I'm gonna take advantage of his weapons. We have all these items and nothing to really do with them. You know what? Let's raise the sorcery of hello. Well, yeah, screw it. He's going to be our primary mage. I don't think I'm going to regret that for a while. If the other character needs stat ups at this point, they are coming way too late in the game. We all just agree. Like, unless this other character is truly the most top tier of top tier, they are coming into our party way too late. We're in disc two. We still have a missing slot. That's crazy. Let's make him immune to magic, because that was actually working pretty well. I don't know if it really matters what we give her. I guess I could give her magic defense in case I'm forced to use her. Let's go back to the magic shop. If there's anybody that wants to name a, an ability after themselves, I guess we'll go do that now, question mark. We do have a super crest, in case I want to improve my damage. I mean, it's gonna be Gremlin. We already know that from before. Let's do Remote Battery. Remote Battery worked pretty well there, honestly. Uh, I don't think any of these matter. I guess I could do Armor Down for now. Yeah, like, the other mage would just be replacing, uh... Irene at this point. Oh, game. You think I'm using Bashley Vicky? Silly game. We don't need those characters. I like that literally none of them have caught up in level, like, even remotely close to hello still. 
even though we've been through like four or five completely different dungeons at this point, he still has like an eight level lead on like the entire party, if not more. Yeah, he's, he has a level, 11 level lead still this far in the game. That's crazy, chat. Like they, they are barely, barely making any progress to catching up to him. Whatever. So we improved our boss weapon, which sadly has to be that over Bazooka. I guess we'll go to... And they were talking about the Dragon Bane. Was, is... I want to check this real quick. One, I want to see what items I missed. But two... There... Was one of the locations I could go to over here? I know it's been many sessions since we touched this. Wasn't one of them the thing I'm looking for? We have Dragon's Vein. I think it's where we need to go. It would make sense. I'm gonna skip this cutscene. I do find it funny you could skip this cutscene. Like we can't skip like basically anything else, but that one they're like, yeah, even even we don't want to see it 20 million times. All right, so put us over here. Looking to see if there's any items or anything over here. Look like it. Figure since we're here, we might as well check. Nope. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Going into the volcano. As I menacingly crouch at the volcano instead of entering. Same volcano. I guess I'll take combat encounter. Think over here. I don't think I'm ever going to bother 100%ing the bestiary, but I do want to see some enemies of the dungeon. Okay. What's the point of this area? Am I missing something? Oops, cancelled out of habit. Caution, flammable gas, open flames prohibited. Well, time to blow it up. There we go. What a safe thing to do. <laughs> Awkward camera angle, but that's fine. Um, I guess I can rad blade it up. The passageway over here. I'm not getting the sense if this is just treasure or not. Let's go backwards briefly. Take this encounter. A Salamandra and a Gig Mantis. Well, they're both about to be ultra dead, so I don't think it really matters what we do here. I'm assuming they're weak to water. 
probably doesn't do enough damage to kill yet. Yeah, not yet. This will do insane damage even if resisted. Nova Rain can be used. Nice. I can switch out what Guardian he's using. As a reminder, he still hasn't unlocked his true potential. What a broken character. <laughs> right, chat? Do 800 damage or 5k? Which one seems fair to you? Fair and balanced. They're all in the same tier, of course. Let's see. What else does he have to learn? Uh, Wow, I need 26 more uses of the death one. Kind of brutal. What about the non-elemental one? Start with that one. That requires less work. That makes him faster. Whereas death gives him more damage okay well well chat oh well i guess it's over for the enemy we have another doorway we could take mm. i don't have a sense as to which one is actually progress or not? I'm gonna turn around. Alright, so we did that for later, which is good. There's a chest in the chest. Takes a tower powerful blow to open. So I just kick it. Mini scud acquired. There we go. Nice get his heavy arm used by Thesaurus. It's a portable missile launcher for attacking a single enemy. Oh, did we finally get a boss weapon he can use? That's actually kind of huge. Ship-mounted railgun. Hmm. So let's see. Okay. Just making note that we have a boss item for later, so don't forget. Go this way. Oops. Boots. Go this way. I'm assuming I did this in the right order, technically. I think I needed to destroy that, or else we can't progress through here. This was progress, but I also unintentionally made progress again. There's another chest. What's in here? Moon pin. Oh, we're not using uh, Vicky. At least we could sell our item, I guess, for later. Okay, we need to upgrade Scud, I think. And that will finally fix our issues with uh, not having a boss weapon for the other character. Technically, we have a super gun if I feel like just building up meter for real gun. So if we're really desperate on, like, bonus bosses, for example, I can try to build up with regular attacks and crit repeatedly. Alright, so I took the wrong path. I got Terranigma. Two paths went up, one just stopped shy of where I needed to go. Take the encounter. Oops. I skated by accident. Did not mean to do that, actually. I wanted the encounter. Oh, well. Let's go across here. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Wow. If you don't have it lined up perfectly, you just get punished hard. Oh, what are you? Dendrobium. Well, I guess I will just Gatling and attack and we'll use water gun. Like a plant monster thing. Wow, it actually we actually outspeed Irene now? That's insane. I guess I should have seen that it would absorb water. But fortunately I think it's dead here pretty much no matter what we do.
Oh, the Saurus didn't outspeed. That's awkward. Bonk. Only 450 XP? That's terrible. <laughs> right, chat? We we got 15,000 from the last boss. Just think about that. That's that's a pretty bad ratio of XP, chat. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually heinous. What was the point of up here? Is this just was this all just for healing? Seriously? Even an item up here? Dungeon sucks, chat. Like, you purpose- like, it purposely put it in a way that if you follow the path, you fall off with skates. And then you have to take the healing that's at the top, and then it doesn't lead to anything new. What a waste of time. Okay, we'll do... normal strikes, I think. Actually, how much is this railgun? Well, it's only 25 for the mini scud. Oh, uh, that's probably useful then. Because I automatically have it, thanks to, uh, our other bonuses. Let's just water gun these things. So we're slowly on our way to unlocking a useful ability. If all we care about is outspeeding, which is in most normal encounters, do decent damage. It's gonna take forever for our other party members to catch up, though. I don't have a uh, good faith in them to catch up anytime soon. Yeah, so I would have to take what, like seven to eight encounters just to level them one more time. I'll think about it. I don't think it's worth it, though. Oh, oops! I got turned around because the camera is constantly being rotated. Uh, so I need I'm gonna keep the red arrow at the bottom of the screen for my own sake. Oh, no, now I can't because I can't see where I'm walking. Thanks, game. We'll put the red arrow at the top. I will skate over here. Oh, there's nothing to do over here. Thanks, game. I feel like this dungeon would not be that bad if it was just like, if I could see like literally anything that I was doing. <laughs> There's just like, the, the walls are just like slightly off screen, so I can't determine whether or not I should skate. And then like a lot of the areas just kind of lead to dead ends and make me go back across anyway. Kind of unfortunate. So just as a reminder chat, in six more levels, Hello will have permanent access to his AoEs and I think there will officially be no reason to use other party members. True story. What was the... What was the purpose of this area? Where, where do you want me to go? I'm so confused. Where... Where is the next area? Is it just... No, 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 no. I think I'm back at the entrance. Okay, so that was the entrance. What was over here? There's the wall there. I don't see an exit. I I went up the cliffside a little bit. Huh. This... Oh, maybe... Oh, maybe this is a new area. My bad. I thought this was leading back to the other exit. Um, probably just want to take a turn to heal here. So maybe I'll do HP recovery stuff so that I don't have to constantly do this. At this point, I think I'm there. I think my levels are good enough. Once my defense is max, I'll just go for healing. Although, arguably, I could have done healing before then. Wow, hello, literally untouchable. Please don't kill the dragon. Damn. Well, time to just absolutely stomp them from existence. Submerge. Okay.
Uh, there's a chest. Full revive acquired. Okay. A lot of healing over here. I guess I could use to heal the other party members. Every single one of those is 50 health for the other party members. I guess that's fine. Game is trying really hard to get me in an encounter. Like, listen. No thanks. Mega Berry acquired. Cool. I <laughs> just detonated that right in my own face. This is a 10 out of 10 chat. So, how do I deal with this? I can't climb that, right? Yeah, I can't climb that. That blows. Okay, is there anything else I could do in here? Or did I miss it when I needed to hit it earlier? Find out, I suppose. What to do over here? This is the beginning area. I just wanted a big loop. Did she do, like, the falling animation or something? She did. Okay. Hmm. Was I supposed to do something else here? No, Hello's by himself. However, will he defeat this Mantis Foo? There we go. Wait, he doesn't build FP for defending? Why? Unless the camera angle is, like, really confusing me, I don't understand what I missed. I'll look at the clip again. Maybe... Maybe I did make a path, but it didn't look like it was flat because the camera angle had it weird. Oh, oops. I thought it could submerge. My bad. I mean, we can't take any damage, so I might as well just do this. Friends caught up. I don't think it matters what they do. And then merge. GG. So much damage. Keep in mind too, Chad, he's still not at his max power potential. Like, we just have him going first always, which is hilarious. So, because that doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't reach, so how... How do I hit that last one so that I could have progressed? Was it possible to hit it? I'm so confused. Unless I could have shot from somehow over there. Was there a way to shoot from there? No. Oh, there's another door there. Oh, so there's another exit I had to have taken. That kind of blows. So I missed one of the puzzles. Okay, now it makes a little more sense to me. So where is this other door that I missed? So unfortunately, we have to go basically all the way back to the get beginning, which is brutal. This is where we went before, right? This is how we started the puzzles? Yeah. So where was that other route? Is this what... 
Yeah, because this doesn't put us at the right... Alright, I'm missing something very easy. So how do I get to that door? Let's keep the camera in a consistent place. So it is somewhere south of me. Was there another door directly south of me? I don't remember. Because that led here, but that doesn't help me. I'm taking so much damage. This didn't have anything to do here. Oh yeah, is there like a hidden passageway? Is that why I messed up? There is just some random place I had to blow up. I'm guessing that's what happened. I don't see what else I could have done differently. But I don't want to go through all this again and then find out I can't do anything again. Hmm. I don't know. I, I can't think of anything else to do for now. We'll have to look for another exit, maybe? Uh, I'm going to have to heal the party. How annoying. Because if I have to fight a boss like this, I'm going to be too injured now, for sure. Uh, save point. Might as well save. Alright. I am really hoping for Wild Arms 3. They fixed the camera. I really don't like needing to rotate constantly. I get super disoriented what the map layout is due to that. I'd rather have like static camera behind me, have that kind of level design. Just like immediately a door here. This is the room I think I was looking for the exit the previous time. Was there another door I could have taken in the other area? Is that what I did wrong last time? So we just went from here to there. Was there a door? Oh, there is a door. Maybe I forgot the... Maybe I just didn't see the door when I jumped down here before? Of course. Camera, please. Alright, now we can progress. I was like, something had to happen. A little differently. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're gonna have to get into an encounter on purpose. I'm in such low state of HP. Don't really want to do a boss fight with like 600 HP. That would be a big mistake. Alright, so we're just gonna casually walk forward and then we'll skate through whatever we need to. Once we're out of the lava areas, let's see if we can do it. There we go, that's good enough. Any boss? Defend, defend, heal. And it is pretty annoying because that gets rid of my ability to heal consistently. Plus, disease stops you from healing in general. What an irritating enemy. So I guess I shouldn't have tried healing on this enemy. Guess I burn him. I'm gonna cure that outside of combat. So this heal's good enough for Thesaurus. I don't think it's good for the other characters. If it was just poison, I would have healed again and gone through it, but with disease on top of that, 
that means that I can't just use that enemy for easy heal spam. Kind of annoying. I'm so glad we bought like 10 of heals, by the way, Chad. You have no idea. Can you imagine, like, if I didn't collect those from, like, I don't know, like, four sessions ago? How bad it would have been to do this dungeon? Don't really want to fight this enemy. So we're hopefully gonna get one more heal off. But not on this enemy type. We're very gradually unlocking new guardian abilities, but I'm not looking to grind that out currently. I prefer to have a group of like four and then just AoE after a turn. Killing one at a time is not efficient. And we've seen that running away really sucks in this game as well. It's not consistent enough, I think, to use. And or it's just sometimes faster to just attack. It's one enemy. Oh okay, yeah, we finally made it through. With like one more encounter to heal, please. You. Okay, good. We're not dealing with the other enemy type. So we're gonna defend, defend, heal. If they attack hello, I get to AoE nuke them. Okay. This. That half my HP. That's kind of annoying. Speaking of enemies that are just really annoying to heal on. Please target hello, thank you. Worse? I just, you know. That's where chat, they're making these enemies annoying on purpose to heal on. Please just attack hello one more time. No, please stop targeting Irene. Whatever. I'm at full health, we'll just end this fight. You know what, I'll Gatling 3 them out of spite. That feels like an appropriate thing to do. I mean, he could have AoE spelled them there if they had attacked him more than once. They had six attacks, so we had decent odds of getting hit twice. Technically, at some point, I have to use her skills more to unlock other skills. I'm assuming it's a requirement of use a skill while at a certain level is the way to unlock it. Technically, could have number of skill uses. We'll unlock, kind of like Legend of Mana style. Power destruction will likely open a new path. It. Okay, do I blow it up? Okay. I'm <laughs> standing in the explosion. There we go. 10 out of 10. Definitely is intended. Like we're at the boss. Voice of the Creator says, You puny little beings! Disappear! Get out of my sight! This is no place for inferior beings like you! Who are you? I am the ruler of this land, the legendary wings who rend the sky. Yeah, yeah, right, chat? Yeah, yeah can't possibly be. Are you? Um, Bardia. Why did he say it with such a pause? <laughs> um, okay. Uh oh. Okay, this definitely feels like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. It's been years since I've been spoken to he- Oh, excuse me, let's try this again. It's been years since I have spoken to humans like this. Of course, it appears there are a few non-humans among you as well. They know dragons could speak. Humans believe they're the only intelligent beings around. 
Sorry. Our being able, our being able to converse will sure speed things up. Lombardia, Phil Guy is currently being. It's getting consumed by a parallel universe, right? <laughs> we have what from Chris? There we go. How did you know? Everything, absolutely everything, is exactly the same as before. The same as when the dragon dimension we lived in was consumed. The dragon dimension. See, the dragon dimension sounds like something Kaiba would do. Let's be honest, chat. We dragons are beings with mechanical bodies. Our homeland was originally a different universe. But our world was swallowed in a wave of consumption, and many were lost forever. Man, this really is feeling like Tear Krius. The few who were able to change dimensions arrived, but couldn't adapt and simply rotted away. Then, will you lend us a hand, Lombardia? Lombardia for next party member. We're fighting to stop the encroachment on this universe. I refuse! Why? For what reason? No one can stop the consumption of the world, much less human beings, a lower life form. Even so, we aren't gonna give up. You have only the smallest chance. But there's still a chance. But it's a chance close to zero. Just a matter of effort that can always grow, right? In other words, that's right. We want your help, Lombardia. Very well. But I have one condition. Is it fight to the, is it fight me first? I want to witness. Of course it is. I want to witness with my own eyes the power of humans struggling to overcome the odds. Well, time to destroy Lombardia. Dragon Caliber Lombardia. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a card. I feel like the XP has actually been pretty good lately. And I think we're guaranteed to get money on this fight since it's not a human encounter. Human, show me your powers! I see a glimmer of possibility, a light in your strength. You may use my wings as you wish. Alright, so Irene is just immediately going to go to items. Let's use a card. The Saurus can immediately lock on with Lawnmower. Then I could just immediately use a remote battery. Oh, it only targets one thing. I'll hit the belly then. How much damage this does? Ah, right, good damage. So we did improve this thing's damage a little bit, which is good. Okay. Draconic Blaster. Turns into a spaceship. Then fires light beams at us. How much damage will this do? Hmm. It loves to spam AoE damage attacks, I'm noticing. Let's use... Fire Fist on the Belly. Use another lawnmower. Let's heal. I might be able to combine and kill this boss instantly. I just don't know what its weakness is. For now, we'll play it safe. Because we also don't know if it has like 8,000, 10,000 HP on the belly. I'm gonna make sure that the belly gets wrecked here. Get that extra XP. The lawnmower will help us tell if we killed it or not. Okay, not quite yet. In the meantime, we're building like a million meters. So I can lock on again with the Saurus here. Fire Fist. Can do Arc Kick, maybe? Alright, uh, so we did break the point, which is good. Let's try Lock On with Miniscud. With that attack is like, well, first aid. Don't hurt him. Poor Chan. So I think we'll just go all out next turn. It can't have that much more health. Oh, a counter attack. Interesting. For no damage, okay, sure, why not? Let's see, how much is this gonna do? That did very little damage. I guess because it's not upgraded yet. But that is the single target damage we might be able to get. Hopefully it scales well with it. 
Okay, so she should survive at least one turn. Let's use Gatling 3 on Vortex Cut. Let's go ahead and use Bazooka for damage. Actually, let's have him attack in case the boss doesn't die. Then... Do I want to use another R battery? Probably not. I feel like we're probably close to end. We already have level 2s. We could try... Darkness Star? Maybe that's the opposite of what it's using. Spin, spin, spin. And the fight's over. 30,000 XP, 30,000 money, nice. Yeah, that was worth it. Basically everybody leveled except for hello. Why, hang on. Why, hold on. I'm Lombardia. No matter what powers you display, they'll never reach me. But why? Why? Okay, we told him to not do that, I guess. They'll reach, though there's still some distance remaining. I won't give up. If I gave up so easily, Sis would laugh at me. Party of dot dot dots. Your energy is heating up rapidly. What consequence of the battle is that a dormant volcano is active? A dormant volcano, not the dormant volcano. The back club party of don't die, you're so cool. Escape. Holy. Lombardia! I imagine we're probably gonna be able to fly now. We gotta fly on the dragon finally. Boom. Oh yeah. There we go, chat. about the encroachment of Philgaius that it started with the wanderings of the dragons, as told by the dragon caliber Lombardia. Different from all the from all in this world are the dragons, living beings with mechanical bodies from another world, the dragon dimension. The world was swallowed in the encroachment and many friends were lost forever. I think we do pilot this character. No matter how powerful the dragons may be, they're powerless against the conceptual being called the world. Those few who could cross the dimensions landed in the parallel universe starting at Philgaia. I guess we're just getting a recap. But most couldn't release their powers in the new environment and rotted away. Dragons are one of the lifeforms being swallowed up by the encroaching parallel universe. According to the information from Lombardia, the encroaching parallel universe comes from the Coupier Belt, the birthplace of comets, the bearers of all ill omens. Love arms aid me in the plans against Coupier Belt. Physical attacks will be no use of will be of no use at all. What will we do? My first clue was actually Bashley. Me. The world can be seen as a giant life, and physical methods cannot affect something as shapeless as life itself. But. There is a vessel to contain such life, and we may be able to combat it. As is with Bashley, let's trap the world in something. But how? I have an idea. One is released at the terminals of ray lines, the ray points. Man is the life energy of Phil Gaia. We shape the mana into an artificial life form. We can trap the encroachment inside it. The Coupier Belt will then live in the... Hedron? Okay. The prison crafted a mana. So, we will give the root of the encroachment a mortal conception. There is not a moment to lose. We'll crawl all the arm's strength to exterminate the Coupier belt. I mean, 
gonna go get my items back. You must seek out the four rave points scattered across Field Gaia. The goal of this mission is to set them free. Use clues in various places to free the ray points. The future of Filgaia is resting on your shoulders. <laughs> Launch it. There we go. Launch the dragon. There we go. That is certainly a cutscene we just witnessed. So how do we summon the dragon? Press X to make Lombardia go forward. Use L1 or R1 or directions to turn. The up and down will change altitude. Party cannot land where Bashley cannot walk, such as the mountain. You cannot land in a forest, rocky area, or other unstable place. I'm more ready for a circle or over a flight area. Touch the little party to reboard. There's just like immediately another location over here. I'm kind of scared to do some of these because I don't really want to do too much here. So I imagine we now have free reign over basically everything. I might do some item collection, but I don't really think I want to do new dungeons or anything yet. I see not landing. How finicky are you being with me on this? Hello? How, how does that not- How is this not a large flat area? Game, please. Gotta be kidding me. How can we not land here? Are you really gonna make me go from here to the other place? That's actual insanity. Wait, is this... Wow, it really wants me to go that far just for the item. That is brutal. And I can't use tools in the overworld either. Wow, that really sucks. Let's go see what this item is that's like hilariously not near anything. Oh, Force Encounter. So we'll... I don't know. What are you? You are... Abu... Aku? Hmm? Just gonna nod my head, be like, mm -hmm, that made sense. Let's try... Rock Bolt on this thing. Assuming this is gonna be a relatively tough enemy, given where we landed. Weakness is Earth, but it didn't- we didn't kill on a weakness strike? This thing is big HP, chat. I'm glad we're critting here. Maybe it'll die now. 3,000 XP? Okay, that's pretty good. See, that fight alone was worth three to four of the other fights. To give you an idea how bad the XP was in the past dungeon or so. Like, just that one enemy was three fights, and it took one move more to defeat. Like, okay. Right, chat? XP in this game doesn't make sense. Well, on the plus side, I guess if we're going into bonus boss territory, we should be good to go. Let's use a Gatling to try to guarantee the kill. Do another attack. We'll do another Rock Bolt. I like how the enemy turns to face the person about to attack them. So hopefully this will make up for not getting a critical. In case it doesn't happen. Or maybe it'll do enough that it kills with just Rock Bolt. Valkyrie can now be used. Nice, it does. Hello hit level 45. Nice. Because, you know, hello needed more damage, chat. That's fair, right? Just get more damage. It's fine. What is this item that's, like, hilariously annoying to get to? Really? No skippable encounters here? That's fine. I mean, I'm just getting more... Oh, what are you? Rendell. There we go. Left edge. Maybe you're weak to light? Use arrow shot. Fireball Typhoon. Okay, this could be a lot of damage to us. Unfortunately, we did level a couple times, so I'm not super, super worried. That is some pretty big damage. They outsped us. And you know, Chad, I'm basically all about risk. 55 damage? How tanky is this thing? Okay, it's not weak to light. We have to try another element. 
Oh, it's just very tanky. But it's 5,000 money. Okay. That's good, because I want to level the mini scud. So we got more money there than the past three dungeons combined, by the way. <laughs> like, we got 12,000. We barely got, like, 10,000 across three dungeons. See, we're back at 141,000. I spent it down to, like, 80k, I think. So, yeah, that's kind of worth it. Right, so what is this item that's hilariously annoying to get to? Viper Fang acquired, and that is what exactly? Is that a weapon? A shooting item? Uh oh. I don't think that was really worth it. I could teleport out of here, but honestly, I kind of want the money. Oh. Ago. Agawagden? Kind of reminds me of the shell monster in Final Fantasy VI. Wonder if it is also a lightning creature. Uh, let's find out. By Snail. Who has a tree growing in his butt for some reason. that but it's still killed uh, that xp was not great but the money's good so basically like every four encounters here will give us a weapon upgrade i might as well just walk back let's check out the al album drops a grenade when killed Interesting. only has an antidote terrible I like how bad the uh, steel items are. Like, imagine robbing an enemy for a 200 heal, like, this late in the game. Like, how dumb that is. Alamandra. Checking which ones we haven't looked at. Lombardia had it. Apparently, we could have stolen a bullet clip. Not that I really care. Rasween also had bullet clips we could have had. Gizmo had revive fruits, but not stealable. Is there anything worth stealing on these characters? Oh, the Mantis has Lucky Card? Oh. Hold on, let me write that down. I'm surprised we never got one. Right, Chad? Must be a low drop rate or something. I'm making a note here in case I'm looking for them later. And Gig Mantis was in the Sleeping Volcano, I think. So it's like, okay XP. I'll say it's via the Silverland teleport to Dragon Vein. So in case I want to start duping them later, it'd be important to know where those are. Most of these enemies don't seem to have anything too interesting. Or Ard. It's crazy how many enemies we still have not seen. Like, we're we're more than halfway through the game, I would assume at this point. We don't even have 40% of the BC area. I know there's one area we didn't do anything at. Oh, hello. Beast Glover? So I'm glad we're doing these so we can at least see, like, new enemy types. And getting a little extra cash doesn't hurt. Full body attack. Wow. The damage was so high. Damn, that was big damage, chat. See, these actually feel like endgame enemies. Like, hello got almost half health. Money and XP were okay. We'll just walk our way back. We can't seem to escape any of these encounters, sadly. Well, yeah, it doesn't seem to mark the dragon with a uh, thing on the mini-map. That's kind of annoying. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to look up this thing's weakness. Um... Try burning it. Didn't seem too, too tanky. Neutral damage is fine. Editor acquired. Cool. I don't have to buy that later. But yeah. I, I imagine the mini scud will take like 80 to 90,000 to get to where I want it to be. Because I want it to be on par with our grenade. That way we at least have another boss option. Though I don't mind doing these fights. It seems like decent money. We surprised them apparently. Nice. I water gun on one of these enemies. The low is gradually learning new spells. Oh, absorbed it. Interesting. Another mini carrot is good. So mini carrots we can start using potentially on bonus bosses. So that'll let us get to like the higher end abilities, which might be worth using. Like if I have Irene just use it on um, potentially Thesaurus each time, or if I give it to Hello, get to 50 points. That way you can just spam AoEs all day. I think both would be valid. As I said before, there's a lot of areas to go to. I don't want to get hung up on those. I'm just looking for easy items. There's presumably like a bajillion bonus dungeons I could go to now. Just looking to see if there's anything that's like super easy to get that is not a dungeon. There's two areas over here, which is interesting. Does Monster Isle have anything fun? Oh, we can't actually land on Monster Isle. That's awkward. That is super awkward. I know there were a couple items over here we couldn't acquire before. Not on the Skull Island, but the one after that. So I don't really want to visit these, because I will forget which ones I haven't been to. Because we're going to be taking a break in between, so it doesn't make sense to unlock them and then don't do anything with them. But we can search for these areas and see if we find anything fun. One day, did I drop my wallet and did I pray a fair young minion would return it to me? What? I'm gonna go with huh? Oh, I didn't see what it was because we picked it up so fast. Point purse. Two times Skella earned on a one-third probability. Um... I could probably get rid of Irene's Mittens just to hold this. Right? Just randomly double money 33% of the time. Let's get into a fight here, see what happens combat-wise. So that's a good pickup. I think chat would agree. If all I'm looking for is money, randomly doubling it is probably good. So our Shambler is a new... It's interesting. His mouth is open. He just wants some water, chat. Just giving him water. Again, before we even do the bonus bosses or anything like that. Ooh, 5,800 ash. Wow. Was that the doubling of the money, chat? I think that paid off immediately. That was a lot of money if that was normal money. I mean, at this point, how close am I to 161,000? So we basically doubled our money in here. Oh, so I could have landed here earlier. I didn't realize there was a beach there. Interesting. We could have had the money doubler for a little bit. I don't think that would have made like a big, big difference. But I'm glad we have it now. These are item carriers and nega lords. I feel like item carrier probably is something worth stealing. Check after we're done murdering these things. Use fire on them, see how they like it. Brilliant blaster. Okay, how much damage is this? Not a lot. Yeah, that's good. 
The item carrier, we'll check out the drops in the bestiary, which is a useful way of learning if enemies have good things. I think that's a good change. Oh, okay, zero damage. I think that's a good change between Wild Arms 1 and 2. Being able to see what allegedly they drop is useful. Oh, I can just use Valkyrie on this enemy. Let me do that. I haven't seen that yet. Probably use one more encounter to heal, and then we'll move on. Here we go, Valkyrie. Okay. 3,000 cash, specially leveled. So yeah, I think we doubled the cash earlier. I don't really think we need to worry about defense, since for the most part we're one-shotting, or if we really need to on bosses, I could swap it out. I prefer one more encounter here, and then we'll move on. See if there's any other items we can pick up. Melek Lich Crash Bunny. Okay. Teal. I crash bunny with the little clock on your back. Wow! Did you see hello just block it for no damage? I think that's advanced guard. So I think advanced guard just paid off. We just went nope. Spun our staff, took literally nothing. Yeah, maybe advanced guard is worth it on the mage. Just literally being invincible is hilarious. Graviton, get wrecked. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. She's gonna go first. Oh, that was a mistake. I could have gotten free kills. 7,000 in cash. Well, Chad, it's looking really good for boss upgrades. I don't know about you, Chad. This area is looking pretty nice. We might do one more encounter. Let's see what and let's see what's in the BC area. I'd rather have more cash than I need than not enough. Get the Whisk Lover, which is just mini carrots, which is fine. Mega Lord drops Mega Berries. New drops Revive Fruits. Lich Instealable Lucky Cards. That's actually important. So now we have a consistent way of doubling it. Southern. Or Southwest. Southwest Island. Stealable. So what about the item one? What was the what was the item carrier? What did that one have? Item carrier, ironically, does not carry anything of interest. Crash Bunny gives bullet loads. Huh. So we have a lot of ways of duping cards in this game, which is interesting. Actually, in which case... If we need it, we'll come back. We still have eight cards, we're not in a rush. Looking for anything that is not a dungeon. I like this suspicious landing zone, but there's nothing to investigate over there. Huh? Oh no, there's a floating fortress? Oh no. There's so much to do, chat. Oh. No, I just wanted... I just wanted to run. There we go. I, oh, I didn't see what it was again. I don't know what I picked up, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I kinda wish it didn't auto-pick things up, so whatever it was, we have it. Because it's like the only time you don't have to press a button to get an item. Every other time you have to press something. So unfortunate. The more items we could acquire. What? I was gonna say, I can't be that far off. Walk into it. Press acquired, okay. Yeah, there is a lot to do at some point. Another duplicator. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good if we go to visit a bonus dungeon now. There is a lot of dungeons over here. I'm wondering if it's worth doing these next time, just because there's two dungeons next to each other. If one of them has to be optional. One of them will probably be primary. 
Elven boots acquired. Okay, so we got more accessories. Gain a surprise on one third probability. Oh yeah, Thassar still has immunity to insta death. That is kind of useful to have, to be honest. I guess I could get rid of this to try to up surprise. Maybe that impacts combat. Even though he's not in the main party. At this point, I'm not using Bashley for his intended purpose. Rank that whole acquired. Okay, we might give that to Kanan. Or not Kanan, might give it to Irene. So we're doing a pretty good cleanup, I think, over here. We'll probably save a Gilgalon. Or a acquired, that's okay. I mean, it's more safety versus like the nonsense items. Nice. Another lucky card. Okay, that's good. That's a good pickup. I think Chad would agree. Like, that's absolutely worth it. Are there any other items anywhere that we haven't acquired yet? I think we picked up pretty much all of them. There might be some in, like, the central area. But, like, we'll briefly swoop in and see. But I think we checked everything else that's over here, for example. Actually, did I check this island? That's the prison. Oh yeah, it had the double location thing. Uh, I never went in the middle. I guess I'll check the middle real quick. Yeah, I think we got all the items. Maybe I'll park at Guild Galad. I mean, I guess I, we might even get a cutscene for going there, because they did talk about uh, the last dragon, right? We should probably go there at some point. Oh. I was supposed to go here via boat. Is there any area even remotely close to go pick that up? Otherwise, I'm not seeing any items anywhere. The boat is over here, but it doesn't feel like it's in a great spot for it either. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. back in the middle real quick, just make sure there's nothing over here. I'm feeling pretty good. There's one other thing over here. Probably this little teeny island. Let's get the last item in save, because I'll probably forget about it otherwise. Bullet load's okay. We'll probably need that for bonus bosses. I don't think we'll need it for casual play. This is so before. I'm not really seeing anything else. That's oh, our way of trans transforming giant mech to pilot, yeah. Let's park and then let's teleport. to just go over here with it. We'll probably revisit Odd Headquarters at some point. So yeah, we'll, we'll, I think what we'll do, we'll go kind of counterclockwise next time. Through the different areas. So hopefully, at some point, allegedly, we should be getting another party member. Ch chat, allegedly. I'd like to not do any of the plot dungeons. So we're gonna full explore. See, there's even a little bonus area over here. So we know there's four dungeons we have to go to, but we saw like ten green areas. So we know there's a lot we could potentially be doing. Yeah, so our goal will be to look at it. I, I'm contemplating if I want to look up where they are. I'm assuming we haven't missed them. I'm very tempted, because at this point, they're like so late in the game. I'm like hilariously overleveled and everything else. I should hopefully be able to go under this, right? I can't go under this. Wait, how do we end up in there, then? Wait, how does that work? Oh, I thought I could go under the bridge. I'm 
I mean, it's kind of shocking to me that we can't go under that. Our boat is apparently gigantic. Um... I guess if I teleport to Baskar, maybe? No, that can't work, because that's a forest area. I can't do anything there. Um... Where do I put the boat to get to this? Would helmets work? Of course, I gotta land to do anything. That feels like a very arbitrary thing to block me from. Because I can't get there via flying. Let's go to helmets, then. Hopefully puts the boat on the other side and not literally where we just parked it. Okay. I think that works. Like our dragon buddy just teleports to us. Like dragon bro has us, Chad. Don't worry about it. Oh. That's right, this area sucks. Never mind. Um If I do it at the Chateau, will that put it at the Inner Sea? I just want to go to the Inner Sea, essentially. I think it will, right? Yeah, it does. Like the dragon has its own theme. It just wants you to know. Is there a way to get through? Can't say I've tried. We can beach here. Hmm. We could just barely not go through there. I try one other place. Otherwise, I'm very confused how we get this boat in there. Because if we go to the Celt region, it puts it on the outside. We just tried going via the outside, and I couldn't get there. I clearly have all the modes of transportation the game would want to give us. I'm not worried about that. The only thing I could do is kind of teleport the boat to us. Yeah, see, this doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully that's not, like, a really good item. I'll give it like a couple more minutes and then I need to take a break for the day. Seeing if there's some route that I didn't hit last time that would get me there. I'm mashing that skip encounter stat, you have no idea. Yeah, so see we're on the wrong side here. I don't think there's anything we could do in this inner sea, unless I didn't see something last time. Huh. Question marks. Does the odd headquarter move it in a way that I could use it? Try one more time to land it. It clearly looks like I'm supposed to bring it in here, but there's not. I'm just looking for any point where it goes to the sea. I don't really see one. I can't land there. Each is there. And there's this thing stopping me from going through. Maybe I can't do anything yet until that gets resolved? Because there's no other way to get through there, my knowledge. Maybe it is a later game thing? Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, if I could just land here, the, the, you know, problem solved, but I can't, clearly. And there's beaches like I'm supposed to do that. 
In Chat Soul, I tried going through the bridge. It didn't work. Unless it's something dumb, like you can only go in through like one part of the bridge. I guess I didn't test all of the bridge. I guess. So I'll try that once, and then uh, we'll give up and we'll go to Galad or whatever. Let's teleport to... It sounds like Wild Arms. I can't think of anything else we could do, because we can't fly there. And the only reasonable way to get through is to either somehow affect the landmass, where there's a spot in the bridge I can arbitrarily go through. And we'll save our game after we, I guess, do some shopping at Guild Galad. We'll see how much money we need to upgrade the, the missile so we finally have a boss weapon. We technically have, like, an endgame boss weapon with Thesaurus. But honestly, everybody's taking a backseat to the true god. That is hello. So many dungeons to revisit. Sadly, once we see them on the minimap, we don't seem to be marking them again. Yeah, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything silly, like over here. Excuse me. Oh, unless I have to, like, raise the bridge again. Do I- is that what that is? Maybe I have to go back and hit the switch to go get that? And make me do that. There was also- we never found out how to deal with that fence either, right? Maybe we'll come back later. We never figured out how to deal with fences. Because remember, there was the, the, the long area where there were like red chests, but we didn't have the ability to claw through them. Okay, so I just need to land somewhere and then we'll teleport to Guild Galad. If we get a cutscene, we get a cutscene, but I don't intend on doing more plot. And from there, we'll just kind of sweep counterclockwise. I'm gonna make a note here. Hint. Go south of Guild Galad. Go counterclockwise. For more dungeon. I guess I forget for next week. Because I feel like we're at the end of the game, right? Like, we do those four things, we fight the ultimate being, game is over. Uh, what's up for magic defense? Saurus's physical defense eventually needs to get buffed. Advanced card was kind of nice. Look at that again. In potentially negating all damage is insane. Now that we've actually seen it activate, upping the probability of it sounds like a good idea. Make you magic resistant. You just need magic defense up at this point. That's out of the way. Go to the arms dealer. Let's see how much damage his other gun does. Does 30. Lawnmower is still huge. Let's let's get the final upgrade for lawnmower. 68 damage to boss sounds pretty good for AoE. Raise mini scuds damage up a little bit. And now it's more powerful single target, which I think is huge. I think chat can agree. It's feeling, feeling pretty good. It's now a 90, basically 75, but could be a 95 power boss weapon. A mini scud, technically better 1v1. Lawnmower versus boss is way stronger. We still need a little bit more cash, but that's what bonus dungeons are for. Um, I don't really care about Bashley's weapons at all, to be real with you. Honestly, upgrading his stuff was a mistake because it could have powered up more. We did get another crest, I think, at some point. We got another crest. Oh, yeah, we can restore our crest cap. That's good. But I got one super magic ability, and then I could get some generic one. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's learn Hype Weapon, I guess. Hmm. Is there anything else that I want to do? Oh, I want to use the inn. What's our luck like? Best luck on hello? Yeah, we're not using the inn. <laughs> right, chat? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Not needed. The only important party member is Max Luck. That's all we need. So yeah, he's now level 45, which is disgusting. So he's now five levels away from dominating the entire game. And honestly, if we're getting like 3,000 a battle from the other areas, the other characters will start to catch up pretty rapidly. Like Irene finally has more HP than Hello Chat. It took forever, but it finally happened. The Saurus should be borderline unkillable. Bashley's not a bad backup in case I lose Irene. His health total is also pretty good. But we still haven't found that other character. Alright, so they're just telling us where everything is. So we're gonna avoid the... Ray points. We're gonna hold off on those for later. Let's do the bonus dungeons for next time. Let's chat, talk about how we feel things went. Well, as per usual, Hello is the all-star overperformer. Again, if we didn't have the ability to very easily raise his FP and we were playing lower level, we would be in big trouble because almost every boss at this point uh, that does damage has basically required Hello to be the healer. So I almost wonder if it's worth having a second healer just so that Hello could do more damage. <laughs> Like, if, if Vicky actually had a useful AoE heal that wasn't like 75 points or whatever nonsense it was for a party heal, I think it would have been good there. But sadly, her ability to expand it to group heal requires such a big investment. I still don't think she's worth using. But at least she has a 1.5 times power. It makes her a bit more useful. Sadly, though, Hello Sorcery is double hers anyway. So one and a half times half of another one is uh, not good enough. <laughs> that's what the maths. That's what the math tells me, chat. The math doesn't lie. But yeah, we finally have a non-elemental attack with him. We have most of the spells unlocked in the game for him, and we might even get more spells by playing against or finding more guardians. I mean, and playing into the, some of the bonus dungeons. So hopefully, with these extra levels, we're finally gonna unlock the sixth party member who presumably has the ability to unseal all those little bonus boss things. And that's probably going to be a whole session to itself. So hopefully we get the character next session. Hopefully. Also, I need to write a reminder. Uh, Go to guild galad master slash mural of dragon. See if new cutscene happens. worry about that next time. So anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again next time.